Hello and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be setting the time, date, and time zone. Now, for those of you, you might have already had it already set up, but we're just going to go ahead and do a refresher. So after you've logged in as the administrator, click on Start, go to Run, and type in OOBE. This stands for Out of Box Experience. This is what will usually run the very first time you run your server. So I'm going to say OK. And then here you can see that you can set the time zone. So let's go ahead and click on that. From here you have your date and time, additional clocks, and internet time tabs. Let us first right now go ahead and focus on the change time zone. From here you can change your time zone to whichever one fits your current time zone that you are currently occupying. For me, it is mountain time. Then I'll say OK. Next, you can change the date and time. If your date and time is incorrect, you would go ahead and set that. Mine is correct, so I will leave them as such. Then click on OK. Next, we go to the additional clocks tab. This is so, for example, let's say you have a server that is located in Japan or one in Germany. You can go ahead and see the local times of those servers. Also, lastly, we have the internet time. This allows you to go ahead and sync up with the internet time. And there are plenty of different websites that they can try to sync up with, but mine is currently set to the time.nist.gov website. So I can go ahead and change those to see if we can go ahead and get this working correctly. And choose the update now. And it was successful. It shows that it was last successful at that current time, 948. So OK. Shows that it was successful. The next synchronization. And that is it. Thank you for watching.